This morning in the Eagle Studio, Mason Wesolowski with us. Mason, good morning. Good morning. And Mason, it's that time of the year again. This weekend is the Back 40 Folk Festival. And uh, Mason, for you, what are you excited about? Uh, this is the, this is the day that that the whole thing leads up to. Um, we've got so much local music coming, really, really talented local music. I'm excited to get everybody into one space, and and hopefully we get some beautiful weather and just make a really enjoyable day out of it. And you said this is what it all leads up to. It's uh, not something that you plan in a week. When do you start working on the Back Forty Folk Festival? Uh, you know, we've been chipping away at it for months. We're a small volunteer base, so um, there's a lot that goes into the project. We try to get started at it early so we're not scrambling leading up to the festival. Um, thankfully, there's some people on the board that have this thing down to a bit of a science, <laughs> so um, they know when the deadlines need to be met. But it's it's a months-long project. Absolutely, it is. And one of the things we talked about on the radio was how uh, you know local musicians are usually a yes when it comes to the Back 40 Folk Festival. They want to perform there. Yeah, it's true. Um, we didn't have to twist anybody's arm this year. People <laughs> were excited to come and, and to play. And uh, that's kind of uh, that's one of the missions of the Back 40 Folk Festival is it's about uh, promoting music that comes from here. That's true. We want to support local musicians in our area because we have so much talent um, and, and so many wonderful musicians. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of effort to organize them. And uh, local musicians doesn't mean one genre. Maybe walk us through some of the artists and uh, what we'll be hearing from them. Oh, certainly. So we've got a host this year, a local guy, Carl Redding. Uh, he's the most engaging musician that I know. Um, so he's looking after us for the day, hosting, uh, looking after the hosting duties. Um, we've got a blues hour that Jamie Giesbrick is going to be at, J.P. LePage, Link and the Mustaches. Um, you know, indie songwriters like um, Lakes and Pines are coming. Um, we've got, um, you know, Stephen Janessa, um, children's performer James Colton. Um, you know, we've got Paul Bergman's coming out. Um, it's, a, it's a big cast of local musicians. And so they play from noon and then they go all the way till it's dark. <laughs> noon to dusk, that's right. <laughs> and the, the, the headlining act this year, the Stanley County Cut-Ups from Winnipeg. Yeah, we've got this great five-piece from Winnipeg, the Stanley County Cut-Ups. Um, they're a great group. I'm just listening to them for the first time, but they got a lot of energy and, and it'll be a really exciting performance. Yes, it will. And them too, having that local connection is awesome. And uh, if people do want to uh, go to the Back 40 Folk Festival, is it something that they should bring? Is it something that they should know? Or well, what can somebody get be prepared to experience? Yeah, the only real variable is the weather. So uh, we keep an eye on the forecast leading up to the festival. But, um, you know, otherwise bring a lawn chair, bring uh, something that will give you a little bit of shade. Um, bring some money for the food trucks, for the vendors. And um, come have a beer in the beer tent, which is something new for us this year. Um, and just enjoy the day. Yes, and everybody can come. You mentioned you guys have that uh, children's performer, so the kids can come by as well. <laughs> yeah, there's something for everybody. So, uh, um, you know, 12 and under get in free. 12 to 17 are, are 20 bucks. Um, adults is $30 if you buy the tickets early or $40 uh, if you buy them at the door. So just buy them early. Do it buy now. Buy them early. <laughs> there we go. And it's all happening on uh, this Sunday. Mason, we're excited for the Back 40 Folk Festival. Best of luck over the weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.